Welcome back to the shop. I'm Greg from Masterson's Car Care, and today we're at Moto United in La Habra, California. This is an amazing motorcycle dealership that sells Honda and Yamaha motorcycles, and we're getting a motorcycle prepared for its new owner. And this is the amazing 2017 Yamaha FZ10. This is one of my favorite motorcycles for 2017. This thing is an amazing naked bike with the engine from an R1. So if you look over there, there's an R1M. This is a detune R1 engine right in a naked bike. Now this is a beautiful machine, it has super slick lines, and if you come over to the front, it has these super cool HID like projector headlights, and these things really look super cool. It looks amazing when it's going down the road. Now we're gonna get this ready and protected for the new owner. Now if you're picking up a brand new motorcycle, you're gonna wanna make sure it's protected before you get it out on the road. Now one thing as a professional that I always get asked about detailing is how to protect your motorcycle right when you get it. And when you get a brand new motorcycle just like this one, you wanna make sure it stays looking good for years. And especially if you have a motorcycle that sits outside all the time, it's exposed to UV solar rays, contamination, water spots, and all different types of natural and industrial pollutants that can hurt the vehicle. So check out what we're gonna do today. We're gonna give it a nice coat of the Masterson's Original Carnuba Wax. Now this is my choice to wax any motorcycle. This is gonna work on plastic fairings, this is work on metal parts, this is also gonna work on chrome and stainless steel and aluminum. So if you have any type of motorcycle, this is gonna protect it and make it look great. This is all natural Brazilian Carnuba is gonna give a brilliant shine, and we're gonna apply it with a Masterson's Premium Microfiber Applicator pad. Now once we get it on, we're going to buff it off using a Masterson's Superior Silk Line Microfiber Towel. This is premium microfiber with silk edging to make sure that we do not scratch the motorcycle. Now the first thing you want to do before you wax your motorcycle is give it a good wash. Now this motorcycle has already been washed, but we want to make sure it looks great for the next owner. So let's take our Masterson's Original Carnuba Wax and we'll spread it out with three lines right on the applicator pad. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these three lines to do a majority of the motorcycle. So come over here, guys. I'm gonna take a little bit of the wax and spread it on the tank. I'm also gonna take it a little bit of it and spread it right here on the bottom. And then I'm gonna move to the front and I still have some on the applicator pad. I'm gonna spread it on the front fender and up here. Now don't worry, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna spread out the rest of the wax because the Masterson's original Carnuba wax can be applied indoors, outdoors, and it's easy to remove always. So I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna take my applicator pad and I'm gonna show you guys how to spread out the wax. Now let's spread out our Masterson's original Carnuba wax on this beautiful bike. Now this bike seriously is wicked. It looks like some type of Decepticon right out of like Transformer movie. It is truly unique. And if you go online, you hear the exhaust clips from this thing, it sounds wicked. Now, if you get a bike like this, you wanna make sure it always looks good. This is something that you can seriously take on any type of world adventure. You can pop wheelies, take it to a track day. This is one of the most versatile bikes you can get for 2017. Now, the best thing about waxing motorcycles when using the Masterson's Carnuba Wax is that it doesn't stain black plastic. So if you notice, there's areas on this motorcycle that are not painted and you can't use wax on those areas. Like this trim right here, this is plastic trim. Now in normal um, Carnuba wax, you would have to stay away from the trim because the wax can actually stain the black plastic. But with the Masterson's original Carnuba wax, you can apply it to the trim uh, or to the paint and it can get on the trim and it's not gonna create any white stains. So that way we can get all the way to the edge of the paint and make sure we get durable protection on all areas of the motorcycle. Now right here we have a decal. If you notice, there's an FZ10 decal. Don't worry, Masterson's Carnuba Wax is gonna work on the decal as well. So your decals don't fade and you make sure that your motorcycle looks great for years. Now right here I notice this is also a uh, painted area on the side of the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and give that some waxing as well to make sure that it's protected just because it's exposed uh, to so many elements uh, when it's going down the road. There we go. Now let's move to the front and let's wax the front. Now, even though this naked bike doesn't have very much fairing uh, work on the front of the bike, we wanna make sure we protect this area. So check out these headlights that we're gonna protect right now, as well as this windscreen. So this little windscreen will give it a nice waxing. And then I'm gonna take my microfiber applicator pad and I'm just gonna put some wax right on these headlights. Now, these headlights are exposed uh, to rain. They're also exposed to dirt and bugs and we wanna make sure they're always protected. So now let's go to the front fender right here. 
There's also another area that gets very dirty on motorcycles. Bugs and rocks also always hit this. We want to make sure that at least there's some protection when it's rolling down the road. Now, if you like, you can also take Masterson's Original Carnauba Wax, put it on your forks. This is a black anodized fork, but Masterson's Carnauba Wax works great on this as well. And this is going to give a full six months of protection, so that way your motorcycle, your car, your truck, your RV, your ATV, or even your side-by-side -side can always look good using the Masterson's Original Carnauba Wax. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to set down my applicator pad. Now I'm going to grab my microfiber towel. Now we're going to be using a 16 by 24 microfiber towel to remove our wax today. And you don't have to let the Masterson's Carnauba Wax dry. You can always go right after the waxing and start buffing off. So come and check this out. Now that we have the wax right on the motorcycle, let's take our microfiber towel and let's just buff it off. Now look at that high gloss shine, guys. Check that out. This is really amazing. This is making this beautiful gray color just stand out. Now this is a dark color and it's always hard to get uh, a nice gloss on gray colors. Grays and silvers are always hard to get depth from. But Masterson's Original Carnauba Wax uses all natural Brazilian Carnauba. It's designed to work on all colors. So it's going to work on white, it's going to work on red, it's also going to work on yellow and black as well. And this is always so easy to remove. Check out how easy we're buffing off the wax on this beautiful motorcycle. Great, there we go. So let's come down here to the bottom. We'll buff off this side fairing right here. Now, if you have a motorcycle and you're giving it a nice wax uh, coat with the Masterson's Original Carnauba Wax, you always want to remember that there's so many other areas to protect as well. Now, these areas, you can actually pick up our Masterson's Detail Spray, which has UV protection and is designed for textured surfaces. So if you want to pick up that as well, you can go to our website, mastersonswax.com, where you can pick up our Detail Spray that will work great on the plastic and the textured trim. It can also work great on uh, powder-coated surfaces as well uh, that maybe too textured to wax. So if you have a textured area like an engine block, like down here, you can easily go ahead and use our Masterson's Detail Spray. Now look at that gloss we have. That is really hot. I mean, that feels so smooth and the paint does feel super slick. Now this means that the motorcycle is gonna be protected against water spots and rain as it gets going down the road. It's gonna dry easier, it's gonna wash faster. It's a great way to get your motorcycle looking great. So come to the front, we'll buff off our little windscreen right here. I know if you guys are probably looking at this and if you guys don't ride motorcycles, you're thinking, what does this little windscreen do? It probably does nothing. Well, trust me, when you're going really fast on a motorcycle and that wind's coming up without that little windscreen, it'll really push back on your helmet. So this little tiny lip actually really does uh, a lot of function on here. I mean, this is Yamaha. I mean, come on, Valentino Rossi rides for Yamaha and he's the doctor. So you know it has to be just perfect. And really these, uh, Headlights look amazing. Our camera guy's probably gonna come up here and check this out because these are so cool. Totally unique. Let's buff off the wax off the headlights. Boom, there we go. Now, even though these headlights are a real like advanced plastic uh, that are designed to resist things like scratches and swirls and rock chips, we still wanna protect it. So that's why we use the Masterson's Original Carnauba Wax. There we go, look how easy we buff off it off. Look how easy we buff the wax off the fender. So easy, there we go. And that gloss just looks amazing. And remember we put a coat up here on the forks as well. And we buff that off and look at that. It even gave that uh, anodized fork a beautiful, nice finish. There we go. Now if you guys wanna see this at the top, this is super cool. These forks up here, are actually like fully adjustable. You can adjust the preload and the tension on these KYB forks. They're super slick. And right up here at the front, there's actually a full digital display, if you guys can see this. And we're gonna go ahead and give that a nice coat as well. So I have just a little bit of wax on my applicator pad from doing the whole bike. I'm gonna take my applicator pad, and I'm just gonna spread it right on the digital display. Now, a lot of detailers might miss this. They might be thinking, that it's not needed, but the digital display is exposed to all the UV solar rays, sometimes more solar rays than the rest of the bike, because if you're parked outside, the sun's always beating on that display. So you wanna protect it and give it a good, nice, durable protection from the elements. So once it's on, let's take our microfiber towel and let's just buff it off, guys. Check that, how easy that is. 
Now it feels slick. It's going to be protected. And it's going to make sure that it's also hydrophobic. It's going to resist water. So if you're riding outside in the elements, and if you have a beautiful FZ10 like this, you're going to be want to you're going to want to be riding in the rain, in the snow, in all types of elements, traveling around wherever you want to go. Now this thing really does look amazing. Check that out, guys. This is a beautiful, amazing bike. Now remember, this is a cross plane, thousand cc engine straight out of the R1. So this thing really is gonna rip down the road, it's gonna rip down the canyons, and it's gonna look great with this naked design going down the road. So if you pick up a brand new motorcycle and you wanna give it a good waxing, you can always choose the Masterson's Original Carnauba Wax to get the best result and the most durable protection. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and check out all the other videos we have right here on our channel. Now, if you wanna pick up the Masterson's Original Carnauba Wax, Hop over to our website, mastersonswax.com, where you can pick up everything you need to get your motorcycle looking great. And I hope to see you next time. Always remember, have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing.